it, Virgo. Welcome to your January 2021 love and general reading. I'm Gemstone Tarot. We're joined by Princess Leia the Cat. Quite unusual that she's right in the shop. That is not her normal spot. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. You are all welcome. If you're here, there'll be ooh, a message for you, okay? There will, oh, wow. <laughs> and there is. Um, there will be an extended reading. The link, as ever, will be in the description box. Cool. Virgo. Go big or go home, methinks. What does Virgo need to know? Oh, Virgo. Oh, wow. What does Virgo need to know? One more overall energy card, please, for my Virgos. Oh, God, yeah, we'll have that one. We will have that one. Let's just put these to one side. Shall we come straight out of the gate, Virgo, with the big gun? <laughs> I love me an Ace of Cups. This is obviously the Ace of Cups. It is renewal, but also for some of you, oh, you've got two aces actually, I'm just noticing. Love it when you get two aces together. This is, it could be for a year or it could be, it's just a big chunk of future, okay? When you get aces, I think one, so I think one year, but what I'm kind of thinking is a chunk of time that is significant and decent rather than just the next few weeks, okay? To go with it, you've got the Ace of Wands. What a combo. So we have the Ace of Cups, which is new love, which is a renewal of love. It's a big show of love. You've got your cosmic hand coming in from the cloud with the big fat goblet of love, okay? You've got the dove from above. You've got this filling up with love and then pouring down like a fountain, okay? It's not the most Virgoan energy. You are an earth sign, although you are mutable. So your energy is normally more caught up in reality, what is real. There's something about the Ace of Cups that is almost unreal in its magic, okay? It's like, here comes the cosmic hand with the poofy cloud and it brings you love. Unconditional love, okay? Unconditional love and I like it for you. Ace of Wands, another cosmic hand comes in from the clouds. This time it has a fiery wand, okay? I know, we're not gonna go there. So when you mix these two together, for some of you, there is a relationship <laughs> which includes both the physical and the emotional, okay? We're trying to keep it clean here on Gemstone Tarot. It includes the physical and the emotional and the way that they combine is something else. I rather like this. Okay. For some of you, this has been, and for some of you as well, sorry, this can be definitely a creative move. Okay. My squeaky chair, that is not a creative move. I'm going to introduce you to my sloth hot water bottle just in case you hear it gurgling away. Yeah, for some of you, this could definitely be a creative move, but if it is, it's not just, hey, I've got a new job. It's not, um, it's not the kind of job or career move that you would do for the money or that you would do for um, the duty of it, which is quite a Virgoan thing to do, okay? This is more finding something that literally lights you up. It's finding somebody or something that lights you up, okay? Now, I also have to mention, and I don't know where it's coming from, that some of you, this is to do with putting a rocket under a current relationship that has perhaps I don't know, gone astray a little bit, um, gone downhill a little bit, or just gone a bit stale or something like that, or maybe even that you've been um, separated from somebody a bit. Obviously, we've had lockdown and all that kind of stuff. Um, there is something here about, we've got the King of Cups. 
I'm interested in this. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, traditionally. Let's take another card for this King of Cups because for some of you, this is like a new love coming in or this is the person, a significant person that you are asking about. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay. Right. There's a story behind this that I don't want to ignore, okay? So the King of Cups is a dreamer. It's somebody who can be the poet, they can be the musician, they can be that kind of, hey, we don't want to label it, you know, um, whereas as a Virgo, you might want to label it with your sticker gun and categorize it. It's like, we do want to label it. I want to know which subcategory it's in, okay? Now I know that the astrology books bang on too much about how organized Virgos are, but you know, you're my opposite sign. You are organized. Sometimes it comes across, you can't tell because it's quite messy, but there is a need for Virgos to know where they are with things, okay? And it's a good need, and it's a need you should never put to one side, okay? I think some of you are either gonna meet or are involved with someone who is a bit vague about where things stand, okay? This King of Cups, it is a very attractive vagueness. That's the thing. When you say, you know, they're vague about th how things stand, you kind of get an idea of, oh, well, someone who won't commit or someone who won't, just a moment, please, I'm just gonna cover up the cat doing an intimate wash, um, someone who doesn't know what they want. I don't think it's just as negative as that. I just think this person is beautifully vague. They may be very mysterious. They may have a lifestyle that doesn't have a lot of routine. It's that kind of energy. Now, something about this Virgo may have disappointed you because look, the card I get to clarify the King of Cups, has she finished doing that yet? Nope. Um, is Sun in Virgo, the Eight of Pentacles. And this is about asking that question, Virgo, can we work together as a team, okay? Can we put your, because obviously when you have a relationship with someone, whether it's like a business partnership or whether it's a romantic partnership, gosh, woman, you are being thorough. <laughs> it does require sometimes the blending of opposites. You don't want to turn the other person into the kind of person that you are and you can complement each other. And what I'm getting with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups is very much that there is a big direction that this could go in if you can agree. And by agree, I don't mean be the same, okay, as this person. So in other words, if you can find common ground, if you can both name it, because there's no shame in wanting to name something. If it's a business partnership, you are not gonna leave this to chance, okay? It's not gonna be, well, you know, we don't really know what the contract is. We've kind of drifted into business together and yeah, we're gonna see what happens. We're not, we're not gonna name it. She's finished now. We're not gonna name it. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna ride by the seat of our pants. You'd be like, what kind of a business plan is that? So whether this is a business partnership or whether this is a romantic partnership as it is for a lot of you and one that already has kind of started but isn't is what I'm getting mostly although it can be for some of you literally meeting someone particularly if it's through music or poetry or any kind of performance art the question is going to arise for you Virgo can we make this work literally can we make this work Eight of Pentacles. Now the odds look good because you've pulled this big fat Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. We also have the Three of Pentacles, working together, collaboration. For some of you, this is creative. For others of you, it's creative and there is a romantic relationship element to it as well. So you may cross over with somebody you're creating something with that you end up being romantically involved with, or you already are, okay? This is quite interesting. And if you are single AF, you could meet somebody in a creative way, 
okay and that could be through a, like a music forum online or um, I'm getting definitely music poetry performing arts that kind of thing whether you're involved in that or they are okay I like this now we also get the five of pentacles to go with this when you get the five of pentacles it means that you have made some kind of sacrifice some of you may have been in separation from this person for a bit some of you may have backed off for some of you they may seem to have backed off because they're not naming it okay there is needed to be or there may need to be actually just a bit of time walking your own line making boundaries now Virgos I'm not sure what you're like at making boundaries but I'm making a punt here that you don't find it that easy and I say that because you're a mutable sign as am as am I Pisceans are too we're your opposite sign but we're both mutable I feel like when you're a mutable sign obviously that means you can move around you can change your, your mind you can adapt okay you're very flexible you can adapt to new things but what it also means is you are flexible and can adapt to new boundaries all the time i feel like virgo if you are involved with somebody who hasn't named a relationship status and you want them to whether that's someone you're going to meet in the most in the near future or whether that's someone you're already involved with there's going to be a need for you to I don't want to say call it on them there's going to be a need for you to discover within yourself what you want in the strongest way ace of wands ace of cups now you also have the sun let's not make any bones about it virgo this is a good reading in the extended reading i'm going to look at the other person how they feel about you what's going on who you might meet and where with this king of cups or an established relationship that's kind of run aground a little bit, okay? Now, we've got two queens in the reading. We've got the queen of pentacles, that's Virgo energy. But in the background here, we've got the queen of swords. For some of you, I feel like the queen of swords is who you need to be. This is the queen who has no trouble saying what's, what will pass and what will fail, okay? It's like, here's my sword. I think you're gonna find out if you pass or fail my test, okay? That energy may be required from you. Now, underneath, I've got the tower and the fool. This is a new beginning. We know that anyway, because we've got the ace of cups and the ace of wands. But this new beginning may have to be cut by you as well, okay? If you think of it in terms, and there's a lot here about craft, about art, about making. You need to make the first cut. They call, you know, like um, if you're gonna make something or if you're gonna write a book, you make that first mark on the page, the first cut, the first commitment to what you want to create. Now, Virgo, whether this is about your career or whether this is about your love life and i think it might be both there is an element of partnership in all of this okay it looks like you're not doing this on your own but the idea of how you want it to be and what you want it to look like needs to come from you and you need to make that first cut okay you need to put yourself out there and state what you want at least to the universe maybe not directly to the other person although i do think it's going to come to that i think you will state what you want either through you don't even have to do it through words sometimes you state what you want through action for example if somebody won't name a relationship maybe that relationship or that person doesn't continue to get to see you until they can you don't really have to tell them that you just have to become busy you know it's that kind of energy but it's bright and it's optimistic and it's friendly it's not in any way calling someone out negatively that's a small energy you've got big energy ace energy ace of cups ace of wands if not you someone better okay temperance sagittarian energy 
She's got two cups and she's playing with the waters. Virgo, this is a month, or in fact 2021, is a year for you to have some fun. I know, actual fun. I know we're all in a difficult situation that remains kind of uneasy and uncertain and all of those things. And it's different rules in different countries, but I'm talking about whatever fun you can get, okay? Even if that is playing with the energies on your own, okay? Although I don't think it's, this is very much linked to other people. So it could be online or however it's possible. You need to put yourself first here and you also need to observe your um, psychic abilities, your magic abilities and your manifesting abilities. Remember, you're making the first cut, okay? You're creating the first stitch. You're daubing the first bit of paint. You're writing the first word. It's all about you, okay? Now, finally, we've got the Empress here. For some of you, this could be to do with motherhood and it could be that 2021 brings up things to do with being a mother, about your own mother, about nurturing, about caring, about moving into 2021 as all four of the queens. You know, when you get the Empress, she is all four of the queens put together, all of that energy. So the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands, as well as Pentacles and Swords, everything, like a kind of a, a Virgoan powerhouse, okay? Now, Virgo, I'm gonna go and do the extended reading. I'm gonna look at how they feel about you, where they're at, who you could meet, and the person you may already be involved with. I'm looking at the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, but I'm also looking for what lies behind it, okay? What lies beneath. So do uh, subscribe to the channel for random love readings, pick a card readings, daily readings, all of that good stuff, and I will see you soon. Namaste.